Welcome to Surgery Squad's Virtual Root Canal Procedure. I'm the one and only Dr. Jeff, and I'll be helping you with this surgery today. A root canal is an endodontic dental procedure that's used to repair and save a decayed or infected tooth. During a root canal, your dentist or endodontist will remove the pulp tissue within the tooth. Once everything is removed, they'll clean out any contaminants inside the tooth and seal it to prevent any further infection. Our patient today is having a root canal performed on their lower right second premolar. A dental professional may refer to this tooth as tooth 29. Before we begin, would you like to review some of the common myths and misconceptions surrounding root canal treatment? I thought so. Not even close. Remember, a root canal only involves cleaning, disinfecting, and sealing off the inside of the tooth. If the tooth's roots were removed, it would no longer have anything to anchor it to your jawbone. Not true at all. It is very possible for a patient to require root canal treatment if they have never experienced pain from a tooth. This is why having routine dental exams is important. Often patients may choose to have a tooth removed instead of having a root canal. While this may immediately seem like a simpler and more economical choice, it's often the opposite. Having a tooth extracted and replaced with a bridge, implant, or removable partial denture is not only a more costly option, but it also requires more treatment time. Not exactly. With positive oral hygiene habits such as routine brushing, flossing, and dental cleanings, most teeth that have root canal treatments can last your entire life. There is some truth to this statement. The number of appointments that are required to complete your root canal treatment depends on a few variables. These include how your dentist has been trained, their experience, equipment available to them, and the condition of your tooth. Let's move on. In effort to make our patient as comfortable as possible, we need to inject a local anesthetic into their gum line. But first, apply a topical numbing gel to the injection site. This will help reduce any discomfort the needle may cause. Next, we can inject the local anesthetic. After the local anesthetic has taken effect, the area should become numb for a few hours. Use the syringe to inject the local anesthetic into the patient's gums, just below the tooth we'll be performing a root canal treatment on. Let's give our patient a few minutes to relax and for their mouth to become completely numb. Now that the patient's mouth is numb, we can move on to isolating the tooth. Since our patient's saliva contains contaminants that we don't want getting into the tooth, isolation is a critical step during root canal treatment. To isolate the tooth, we need to punch a small hole into the rubber dental dam and place it over the tooth. Once the rubber dam is in place, put on a tooth clamp to keep it from moving. Next, we'll need to dry out the tooth as much as possible using our air water syringe. So far, so good. Now that the tooth has been isolated, we can create our access cavity in the tooth using our drill. The next step is to clean and shape the tooth's canal using a root canal file. Go ahead and give it a shot.
At this point, the dentist would measure the depth of the canal using a combination of x-rays and specialized equipment. If a dentist fails to measure properly, it could mean that the tooth would be at risk for reinfection. Now we need to clean the canal of the tooth using sodium hypochlorite, commonly known as bleach. We'll let the bleach sit in our patient's tooth for about five minutes to make sure that all the bacteria and tissue inside the tooth has been dissolved. Great! Now use the suction to remove the bleach from the patient's tooth. Next, we'll need to fill the tooth using a rubber compound known as gutta percha. Gutta percha is often preformed as tiny, thin cones that we'll insert into the clean canal of the tooth. I've already added some sealant to the gutta percha cone. Let's see what you can do. Looking good. A heated instrument is now used to remove the excess gutta percha. Pack the gutta percha into the tooth canal using a plugger. After the gutta percha has been placed, it is common that additional x-rays are taken to verify that the canal has been adequately sealed off. Once the dentist verifies that the canal has been sealed, a filling or crown is placed depending on the location of the tooth. You can learn more about fillings and crowns in our virtual dental filling and virtual dental crown procedures here on SurgerySquad.com. After a root canal, patients should expect some mild sensitivity and discomfort. This can usually be relieved using over-the-counter pain medication, such as ibuprofen or naproxen. By brushing twice a day, flossing daily, scheduling regular dental visits, and avoiding smoking, it is possible to greatly reduce the need for a root canal. And that's a root canal. Why not check out some of our other amazing surgeries here on SurgerySquad.com.